Okay, so where are we at with this? So we just finished up like a day of testing a bunch of different stuff on this with liquid metal and without liquid metal. And now we're going to put that guy right there on. <laughs> this is the world's most unusual water block. It looks normal on the surface. Copper on the bottom, plexi and metal on the top, but the secret sauce is it actually replaces the integrated heat spreader of your CPU, making direct contact with the dye. This is madness. Hopefully. Private internet access is exactly what it sounds like. The VPN that encrypts all your internet traffic and uses a safe, protected IP. Stay tuned to learn more. You know what's funny is we're kind of coming full circle here. This actually reminds me of the Danger Den TDX. So that was a really old block designed for back before AMD CPUs in particular had integrated heat spreaders. So the secret sauce here really is just the way that Nude CNC has designed the base of their block in the shape of the underside of an integrated heat spreader. So you can see this lip right here is designed to be sealed onto the substrate. These right here are designed to be held by the socket retention mechanism. And then this flat surface right here, you can actually see an outline from testing they must have done at the factory. This is a prototype unit. You can see the outline of where a die was making contact with it before. So how's the mounting work? First, we got to delit it, right? Yeah, well, this one's already been delitted. Not, not right now, obviously, but it should come off pretty easily. So one of the big ways that enthusiasts have been improving temperatures, in some cases very dramatically over the last few generations, is removing the integrated heat spreader from the CPU, like Alex is doing now, and replacing the stock thermal compound that's in there with something a little more potent, either a high performance paste or, in extreme cases, even liquid metal. But the theory here is that nothing, I guess that's where the name Nude CNC comes from? Yeah. Nothing is better than anything. So we're removing a full layer of thermal interface material and additional metal between the water and the dye, which is where the heat is actually generated. This is freaking crazy. Like you look at how thin everything we're dealing with is. The tolerances for this have to be so tight, uh, which is why we're using a 7700K for our testing rather than an 8700K, because as far as we know, that's what this particular prototype is validated on. It probably would work for an 8700K though. Probably, but go back a couple of generations to when Intel was using a thicker package material, and maybe not. Maybe you'd over tighten it, which, I mean, look at this thing. <laughs> you don't want to do. It's as thin as a chip. Um, well, let's get some liquid metal off of this first, sure. just for the like nice new application. We already put a whole bunch of conformal coating on this for everyone that's wondering. Just gonna give it the old shirt treatment here. Make sure it's nice and clean. Kids don't try this at home. Certified ESD safe. Yeah. So we put this in the socket first. Here we go. Where's our dot? I think it's this way. Okay. So here you can see what I was talking about before, where you do need some kind of IHS on it to even hold the CPU in place, because that's how these mounting mechanisms work. See, there's far too much play in there you won't be making adequate contact between the pads on the bottom of the CPU and the pins in the socket. There's something about German that makes warnings so much more fun. <laughs> Warnung, nicht mit aluminium, cooler copper curtain, bernwenden. Whereas like the English one's like, warning, do not use aluminum heat sinks. All right, what's next? Um, so we apply this right in the socket. That's lots, hey? Yeah, you can sort of get it in there and then just pull out and it'll like deflate, it's really weird. Mm, you sure? Mm, that actually looks not too bad. So this is the trickiest part. You can see this notch is smaller and it's offset compared to the one that's built into the integrated heat spreader. That is so that you can kind of start it over here. 
move it where it will actually be held down and then tighten the whole thing down. This is crazy. Like that is crazy. Yeah, so now I guess we need to drain the sketchy loop. Why? So we need to put the fittings in there. No, 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 you don't have to drain a loop to put in fittings. Why? Have you been wasting time in between <laughs> runs draining loops? What's wrong with you? That is how you break motherboards. He broke the dual socket C621 Sage, a $700 board. There is a crater in the socket. I don't get, oh, I see it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God, there's so much water coming out. How are you, how are you going to flip those around? Water and not evaporates. Get water everywhere. Water evaporates. Don't be a Do you want to at least pour some out? I don't think these are gonna fit. Yeah, these don't work. Oh, damn. <laughs> okay, I'll get the zip ties. No, you know what we could do is, uh, yeah. So we're just gonna go uh, no collars on the compression fittings. We're just gonna use compressions as standard barbs. Fortunately, Alex is gone right now because I'm quite certain he would not approve of what I'm about to do. I'm just gonna go for like a speed mount here. Oh, no water. Yeah. Mm, yep, okay. And if we go like, that, oh shit! I lifted it too high. Maybe we can fix it before he gets back. Okay, hold on. You're saying about not draining the loop? Just gotta absorb the water. Where's the power supply on this Right thing? below that. Right below it? No, it should be fine. Is that going to dissolve the tubing? No. Well, that's not gonna touch the tubing. I just want it on the board. I need to, oh, I don't want it in the block though, not really. Oh, it's in the block now. Okay. I just need it to carry away the water. Let's, uh, that's an acrylic block, so that might, uh... Just hold on, hold on. Oh, I really hope that this all survives. I'll be right back with an air compressor. <laughs> I settled for this. It was a lot lighter to bring up the stairs. It's about to get really stinky in here. No, no, nothing got over that far. Oh, wait, yeah, maybe a little. Oh, oh yeah, it's way over there. Okay, cool. <laughs> no, 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 you don't have to drain it to put in fittings. Have you been wasting time in between... <laughs> Runs, draining loops? What's wrong with you? I mean, realistically, after applying this kind of heat to it, it's probably drier than it was before. What are you doing? Smelling it. Ah, I'm still picking up some alcohol smell here. That means it's probably not all evaporated. Look, I wish I had all the time in the world to do things carefully and properly. Would have been like a minute. Here we go. Put the metal. Ah, dang it. Hey, that really gets the liquid metal going though, hey? Yeah, I guess it's way more liquidy now. Yeah. So let's put that bad boy on there again. What could possibly go wrong? Okay. Yep, it's on there. Okay, having learned nothing. We're just gonna quickly, whoop, quickly, quickly. See how we're quickly doing that? And quickly. Yeah, see, I told you it would work. Pro move is to tighten it clockwise so that that way you're tightening the barb as you tighten your zip tie. Plug and pump, plug and pump. I got this the right way around, right? Yeah, okay, good. I am like legit excited right now. I am a bit concerned. Okay, let's do it. Does it have a switch? Yeah. No, it's a memo K switch, isn't it? Oh, it's a power switch. Okay, it's just hiding. There it is. We're gonna find out if it posts. That would be pretty funny, hey? Breaking the board in between all the testing. <laughs> that would be yeah, there you go. All the RAM is picked up. See? No problem. No problem. All right, so what are we trying to beat here? So we're looking for uh, 53.4 degrees is our average temperature with the custom loop before. Okay. And that was with liquid metal? That was with liquid metal. That's the mark to beat. I feel like Windows search has gotten worse over time. But somehow they did it. I agree with you. Stress FPU, hit it. Yep. Okay. Oh, damn. That's looking like it might be a little better. 46, 50. So what was the mark to beat? Max before was 58. Wow. All right, well, let's give it half an hour and make sure, but this is looking really promising. Okay, it's been 23 minutes, just doing a quick check in here. Everything all right? Okay, it's still up. 
Not only are these temperatures outstanding, but look at that spread. Damn. Core to core temperatures are within like three degrees. And this has clearly stabilized. Like, this is it. Yeah, this is all we get. All. So with an average of 51.5 degrees, we are almost a full two degrees cooler on average than we were with our liquid metaled IHS. So remember that, that's key. Two degrees we dropped and we haven't even overclocked yet. Here we go, you ready? So far everything seems to be behaving totally normally. Oh, we are at that clock speed. Oh, it's beautiful. Let's hit it. Wow. <laughs> That's like the same temperature. <laughs> like zero Fs given. <laughs> About five gigahertz, check this out. <laughs> five gigahertz at 55 to 60 degrees. Cause remember this water is already pre-warmed. Like there's no way this has had enough time to cool down fully. Wow. Like look at the spread though. That's what's crazy to me, the consistency. I kinda wanna just try going higher. Yeah, we got nothing to lose. Okay, so how hard do we hit it? I don't know, it seems like some people are getting like 5.5 .5 with 1.5 volts, so. Okay, I'm trying 5.4 at 1.5 volts. We might be getting into Windows at 5.4. No, no, we're not. I mean, let's just see, let's try 5.3. We're, in, we're into Windows. We are most certainly running at five, I hate it when it does this. 5.29, takes the satisfaction right out of it. Wow. So if we had a chip and a board that could handle higher frequency with this kind of voltage, our cooling would still be well under control. Look at that. We have settled in at around 65 to 75 degrees on all four of our cores. So to put that in perspective, that is about what we might expect on a CPU like this at stock speeds with like an adequate but unexceptional air cooler. So the conclusion here is both complicated and simple. The simple part of it is that the Nude CNC, whatever this thing is called, what's it called? Encore. Encore. Performs better than any water cooling solution that makes contact with the IHS, even if your IHS is liquid metaled. The part that's complicated is that the Encore requires voiding the warranty of your processor in order to achieve these gains. So we're not gonna recommend it, but we're not gonna say that it's not super cool either. In no particular order, here are some reasons to use private internet access. One, it hides your true IP address and geographic location. Two, it allows you to browse anonymously. It allows you to browse anonymously, keeping your identity hidden, which is especially important for political dissidents, journalists, human rights activists, etc. Three, it allows you to avoid data mining and targeted advertising. Four, it allows you to block unwanted connections with advanced firewall and filtering capabilities. Six, it allows you to unblock websites, bypassing lots of, you know what the point is, there's a lot of reasons and it's super affordable, which is cool. So check it out at the link in the video description. So if this video sucked, you guys can hit that button. But if you liked it, hit like, get subscribed, maybe consider checking out where to buy the stuff we featured at the link below. While you're down there, you can check out our merch store, which has cool shirts like this one, as well as our community forum. We will see you in the next video. At least I will, you might not be there. You did break that motherboard. What? You spilled water all over this one. And it isn't broken. Um, the one that's coming apparently is better than the one that I broke. Gary's just trying to help you out. He said to give me a bonus. Okay. He did not. I'm on the email chain. <laughs>